Ah, Namaste and I catch my family and welcome to another morning coffee with Rion. How are you guys doing out there today? I uh, just wanted to share some insights and some positivity with you guys and obviously uh, I got a lot of questions um, from fellow grid makers, uh, those that work the, on the earth, those are my fellow shamans out there, my fellow light workers that um, it's on the enjoy right um, different um, Dharma truly Dharma is what I speak of uh, my Dharma is gritting the earth with my friends and family my Dharma is helping my brothers and sisters work on what they need to work on and step into their power um, truly Dharma is I don't know I just think it's the most awesome thing when you guys really get a hold of it and you're walking in your purpose so what's up guys Come on in. There's Thunder Mountain behind you. It's like the weather report out here. It's very 5D in Sedona today. Uh, I think we all kind of got through this storm together. Um, and, you know, my love and condolences to all those things that have happened. You know, truly, when these things happen as a collective, I think the collective is waking up on many different uh, functions. And I think that this population on Earth is doing an amazing job in seeing the truth and waking up and stepping into their power. So I just want to say hello to everyone out there. Uh, I want to uh, connect you with higher self and get the answer. There you go, Rob. Yes, I agree. For all my fellow friends on YouTube that I'll be posting this video to, I'm going to be doing some pretty cool stuff in the future. I think we're going to do multiple cameras, multiple live streams, and try to do this for the whole planet. I think it's really important and personally, uh, I'd like to send my appreciation out to all of you guys who I love so very much. Not only for your guys' support, and but truly your dharma and what you guys create. And what I like to think about in my video is that this is kind of the teacher's lounge. What up? Good morning, New Zealand. You know what I mean? This is like just casual. This is casual New Zealand, Australia, UK, Europe, check in. Romania, Estonia, check in. You know, US, check in. Right, Canada, check in. South America, all right. So, you guys, I'm gonna teach you guys or share some insights uh, from my fellow grid workers out there on what I mean by gridding. This has been one of the main questions I get, like, Rion, what is gridding and what do you mean? Well, I got a little demo for you and I'm gonna get a little nerdy on you real quick though and I'm gonna come right back, so. For all my fellow gritters out there that make organite or make use crystals and whatnot, I will use this as a demo. Okay, really quickly, when you <clears throat> a quartz crystal is not a liquid, a solid, or a gas. It's actually vibrating. I think believe it's 71,000 71, times per millisecond. So most people of you guys didn't know that about your quartz crystal. It's not a liquid, a solid, or a gas. It's actually vibrating 71,000 times a millisecond, okay? So when you take a crystal like that and you compress it, you create something called a piezoelectric effect, okay? Um, I use uh, Silmar 249 because it not only is an amazing clear casting resin, but it also has the UV protection. So when I grid the earth, these are going to be there for a hot second, right? And for all my fellow devices out there, pyramids I put in people's backyards, uh, the sun doesn't change the color of them. Now check this out. This is the key what I want to share with you real quick. Let me get in close here. Okay. What you want to do is create a piezoelectric device that has a magnetic ground. So let me show you how. So in this black layer right here on all my grids, this has iron oxide. It's black. It's magnetic. You mix that with shungite, black tourmaline. Okay. If you want to negate all fear from entering your device, you add jet. Now, that is the black layer. That is the layer you put the magnet push side up. Meaning that, so usually you pour these upside down in a mold. What I want you to understand is when you put it in, you're going to, say you have a, a, a stack of magnets. Well, they're, while they're all connected, that's the ground. That's the negative part, I mean, that is attracting, that sticks it together. What you do is you pop that and you flip it so the push side of the magnet's coming out, which, when you pull it out of the mold, is pushing the magnetic force out the top of the device, and then the negative part is drawing that magnetic function in the bottom. 
So whenever you guys are making magnetic devices, always understand the ground pulling in, the push side out the top. Okay, so when you drop the magnet, sprinkle the brass around that and then add titanium. Okay, titanium is awesome. It's a very, if you look on the scale of all the different vibrational metals, it's actually quite high on that scale. You know, obviously platinum, silver, gold, all those things are at the very tippy top copper, but titanium's also in there. Hi, what's up, Katie? Now, here's the thing. Don't use aluminum. I know it's cheap and it's cool. Don't use it. We stopped using aluminum back in like 2012, 13, me and my brother, Jason. There's enough aluminum they're dumping in the sky. I don't want to use aluminum. Okay, moving on. Okay, what's the name of the resin? Okay, I get mine from uscomposites.com, if you're in the States, and it's Silmar 249. Okay, the Silmar 241 is also amazing casting resin. Um, the main thing, guys, that you're looking for, especially with these organic resins, which I also love, um, they're amazing. We're going to start, you know, making some different types of uh, jewelry and whatnot in the future. Uh, I used to make those pendants, right? The main things with the organic stuff is you always got to pay attention to the compression ratio. Really simply, the stronger that resin locks in the form, right, the more compression, hence the more of the electric uh, distribution as it squeezes the crystal, the more the firing mechanism will um, compress and fire for you. All right. Come on in. It's just little educational things. Now, I know in Atlantis, okay, here's some things for you guys, some little inner earth stuff and some uh, different uh, tech. We used to use the concrete, as many of you guys know that concrete hardens over say a period of a hundred years like for example the Hoover Dam isn't even uh, hardened yet it's still hardening the Hoover Dam what this means is when you use crushed crystals with an, a concrete mix with a fine you know really grind up that concrete with a different lime I like the ones the Roman concrete where they took the volcanic ash the lime and um, obviously the, the the sand or whatever you want to use with it right the Compression ratio is what you're really concerned about. The more of those things compress, and the volcanic ash has an amazing ability to actually create, looks like 12 sided stars when they come together when you mix them with salt water. It's really cool. So, in the future, when Team Light's helping out different you know, countries build their stuff, we're definitely going to help out uh, with some of the technolo te uh, technology to actually make that easier and long lasting for everyone. I feel on Earth, when we build things as a culture, they should stand the, the test of time. And I feel that in the future, more sustainability is going to be key with that, especially with using some of the natural resources, hence stone, concrete, marble, whatever that may be, right? Synthetic marble. <clears throat> I always thought it'd be cool to do marble top with like a shungite brick underneath. Think about that for your spa. Every single step you walk into your steam room, it's actually pulling negativity and healing your body. Things like this. I grew up in Atlantis, you know what I mean? That's kind of my MO. I remember Atlantis, it's awesome. But some of these things are the crystals, remember. Very important. Now, back to the device. Okay, um, you always want to use directional crystals on the slope. Uh, double terminated is amazing for that. You also um, want to use different uh, coatings. My brother uh, Alexander and I use different aqua aura, rose gold, champagne aura. Uh, aqua aura, for example, is gold, which is uh, molecularly bonded to a crystal it ups the frequency ups the power ratio and obviously the spectrum in which it can broadcast into what does that mean for us down here in 3d that means i can broadcast into higher dimensions upload information and download information right through the veil so truly what you're saying is you're making devices that are actually bypassing the veil that your biological 30 frames per second eyeballs can't perceive more or less. Okay, so remember that third eye is there for all you guys working on that third eye, right? Playing with the ether, bro. That's what's up. Hey, Tesla knew. Tesla was the one who was like, yo, I understand Einstein's relativity theory, but he doesn't talk about the ether at all. Okay, so pay attention. All right, now. Um, some of the functions of these devices, obviously, gridding uh, places of low density. Uh, my uh, MO and how I was trained was to do old battlefields. 
preferably from like, you know, one to 2,000 years ago, okay? I have done things as, as early as the Sarajevo when I was in Bosnia. Those pictures in the post I put before this was when I went to uh, Bosnia with my brother Jason and a couple of other members. Uh, the main thing with that was um, we graded and cleared the Sarajevo war tunnels where a lot of people were unfortunately shot underneath the airport. So like I said, that's one of the more modern ones I've done. And yes, we don't just clear ancient battlefields. I speak to you in this manner because I want you guys to understand that some of us have these types of jobs. Okay, I know it's kind of strange when you're kind of waking up out of 3D and you actually wonder why some of these changes happen on Earth for good or for bad. But to always understand there is a level of consciousness behind those things that are going on that eventually show us show up in the present in 3D. There are a lot of people working very diligently right now to maintain our frequencies, our harmonics, and our fields. And I want to tell you guys that we I am one of those members of Team Light, and I know you guys are too. We are a group. Team Light's very simple to me. It's a group of light workers doing the best they can to assist planet Earth, period. Okay? We all sit at the round table. There is no leader in this function. We all have an equal share of our consciousness on this planet. Period. Okay, what else? We're here to assist. Gaia and her ascension, period. We are here to assist mass consciousness to raise their vibration, period. And uh, truly to open the minds up for all the people that are ready for that new new and kind of putting these uh, missing Jenga pieces back together, right? Of some of the history that we have lost um, from who we truly are. See, all of these belief systems kind of fall apart when you remember who you are. Your higher selves aren't confused. It's just this thin film of reality that is the last bastion of control that actually sits above you. I just want you to understand that. And in the future, when that becomes very much more apparent, to always remember, you heard it here first. No, I'm just kidding. No, y'all, it's, it's the truth that you guys know since you incarnated, okay? That's the main thing. So, <clears throat> today I wanted to not only answer some of your questions, right? But to truly get into why we do what we do. Okay, what's the best way to grid an area? Okay, I'll answer this. This is cool. Okay, so let's start with your bedroom. Um, I usually, I'll talk about some of the things I make just because it's easier for me to communicate specifically how I do it and why. Uh, for example, a bed pyramid. A step, uh, the little bed pyramids that go underneath your bed. I put a step pyramid with three layers of vibration, different uh, crushed stones per layer, that actually push a higher frequency than the resonance around you dimensionally than your 3D physical reality. Hence, there's stones from that mountain crushed into it, very tippity top. There are also lightning stones known as fulgurite, which are inside of these devices, which is uh, rocks hit by or sand hit by lightning. Uh, I do things that oscillate faster than uh, us. Why? Because when I put these devices underneath you, I push your resonance or your frequency up. Never down, always up. Why? Because when if I, we create little holes in the veil so your higher selves can get down to you, that's all we're trying to do. Your higher selves are your, are your true um, masters, are your true teachers, are your true versions, and that are only trying to do their best to help out their little brothers, little sisters. So I kind of keep it like that. Now, what is some of the stuff that we, why we have to grid? The fourth dimension right now uh, is being cleaned up. Uh, a lot of those doom and gloom movies, like this last movie I saw, Blade Runner. Oh my God. Wah! Hey, bro, you want to see the new Blade Runner? I'm like, no. Nah. Like, I don't know. The whole, there's a lot of programming. If you guys thought already, the new Blade Runner movie with Harrison Ford. Here's the main thing, which my highest told me when I was sitting in the audience watching it. He goes, son, that's a fourth 4D and 6D dimensional representation of what would happen if we chose the slower or lamer timeline of the AI. Don't choose the AI timeline. Okay? If you watch that whole premise of the whole thing, I don't want to ruin the movie for you, so I'll stop right there. Okay, It still came out last weekend. But I want you to know that that is a 4D, 6D dimensional understanding of a lower platform of an AI resonance, which is not where the majority of us want to go. That's for the people that can't get their you know, T's crossed and I's dotted and don't like to help people or work on themselves. They go there. But moving on. Okay, that's not for us. We are on the land of Dharma and amazingness. Now, let's go talk about crystals and unicorns and shit. Okay, here we go. Now... For all of those who are waiting to go up into the left, into that glorious... Oh, look at this song came on in the background as I begin. 
okay? The function of it is this, look, we are reflections of one another. We take care of one another. When our brothers and sisters fall down, we pick them up. When people are purging things, see that. Don't take it personally. Don't take it personally that this ticking, this tick, 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 tick is getting closer to the truth being forced. Like literally people are going to be purging lies and belief systems. So what you do is as a friend, you kind of stand there and go, I love you regardless. I went through that, bro. I just had a situation the other day. I'm like, I went through that, bro. Negativity, negativity, negativity. I just go, yo, bro, you should go to the steam room. I love you, man. I, it's one of those days. It's a full moon. Click. Like next. My thing is that no longer have the reflection of how that feels to you or it being directed to you. Usually when people reach out in that way, understand they need help inside. They need the help. They come at you in a negative way to trigger you, but really what they're saying is, hey bro, I need some help. I'm, 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 I'm having a situation here. The only way I can reach out to you is may, might be negativity. You know, The key is this, you reached out, I appreciate you, I see you, you're gonna get through this, and yes, I have been there, okay? Now, gritting us, <laughs> David, I love you so much. Gritting cell towers at the base. Now, Shungai is amazing for those things, black terminally, anything, you need a get proper transceiver, and uh, Mr. David messaged me privately for that. Now, here's the thing as we slip into the slipstream of awesomeness. Gritting your room, uh, step pyramid underneath you, or a grid, one, two, three, four small grids like this underneath your bed. What you've just done is created a crisscross. You got the box around your bed with the bed set. And then you have the uh, cross, the horizontals coming in, right? And the diagonals coming in, which actually grids your bed. Now, you want to expand that, put one of these in each of the corners of your bedroom. Now you've just doubled the grid. And obviously, gridding outside of your home, obviously, too. For me, um, I always like to push the energy field from say my wall where I sleep and like that's like the corner of my property I push it out at least 90 feet just because I'm a large being and I don't like being people Having their higher selves or lower selves walk that close to me Imagine being a giant and your little people are walking by your face when you're sleeping. It's weird Okay, just for you guys getting there. That's what it feels like. Okay, now the smart meteors things you need. I make plates for those on the inside wall. You're going to want a Shungite magnetic plate. Okay, that's going to repel the EMP pulse wave that goes off at three in the morning for all you guys in California who were forced to get smart meters. Here in Sedona, we fought tooth and nail and we can get them removed at any time we want. Um, just to be real, so on the inside wall of this, of where that smart meter is in your bedroom, I can make you a Shungite plate, Shungite black tourmaline magnetic plate, which actually pushes the frequency the other direction. That's a great way to shield. I can get more into that uh, later. Now, um, as far as the um, smart meter itself, there are these little $99 EMF like the little like cushions or snuggies that slide over it. I found that if I put a Snuggie over the front that I got an EMF protection with one of my plates on the opposite side of the wall, it negates it. Uh, Shungite plates in a piezoelectric energetic device is far more powerful because it's a self-generating or uh, organite organ field or uh, force field if you want because it's a piezoelectric device with crushed crystals and multiple layers that emits a field then you also have the magnetic device or function of it which magnets obviously once they're charged they're good to go for quite some time years 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 and years and uh, ferrite magnets are good and neodymium magnets obviously have at least a 6,000 Gauss rating which is going to be what you really want to do for personal use obviously it's up to you and how much power and how much of a force field you want to create okay I hope that answered your question on the uh, what do we do about the smart meters okay now okay when you buy a half a pound of powder shungite, that's awesome. I love it too. David, check this out. I always crush my own shungite because I want to make sure I'm actually getting shungite. When you order stuff from the Ukraine and Russia and stuff like that, I, that's why I always crush my own stones. I have my own rock crusher in the garage. You can also use, um, they're called Dr. Sore Thumbs. You don't want to buy a big powered rock crusher. You, you crush it up yourself. I don't really trust the matrix. I need to see amethyst or ametrine in my hands. I'm not like, let me buy powder this or powder that. Ah, unless you trust where you're getting it from, I'd always say crush it up yourself. You know for sure you you uh, you're getting what you get. So, 
Now, what else? Let's relax for a second. Okay, now, um, how you guys doing? You guys having fun? Mm. Pay attention to this new 5G network coming through the pipeline. Don't worry when they when this ever this thing ever comes out, we're going to shield you even more, and uh, we're going to take care of that. I'm not really into a huge fan of having uh, propaganda or commercials propagated into my energetic field. Let me be completely clear with you. If you guys don't know about this new 5G network, you might want to look it up in the major cities. Um, for the people at the bottom of the pyramid that think they're just selling cell phones or faster internet service that really don't know what's going on, uh, the technology between a 5G, I'll just say it to you right now, you're actually able to project a visual image out of those devices. That's why they're on every other telephone pole. Duh. <laughs> so, when we control the network, we will be playing Rainbow Bright 24 hours a day. No, um, I want you guys to understand what they're trying to do. They're trying to actually control your spatial field with that technology. It's kind of baby, 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 Gerber baby when you know wake up out of 3D. But I don't want to make this uh, place any more difficult for my friends and family to wake up in. Um, so you guys throw a pyramid up in the front of your house, pyramid up over your bedroom, grid the walls. You'll control the airwaves anyways. It's grounded into the earth. It's running through your power system. Okay, but you need to shield yourself. Um, how do we get rid of the fluoride too? Very simply, Cheryl. Um, Berkey, B-E-R-K-E-Y, Berkey water filter, 2.5 gallon with fluoride filters. You can get it on Amazon Prime right now. It's a 2.5 gallon Berkey water filtration system with fluoride filters. You pour any of the water that you guys are drinking. I don't care if you guys reverse osmosis does not 100% going to remove fluoride. The reason why you need fluoride filters or you guys have those uh, water filtration systems in your home, that 99.99999% check it out. Well that .00001 is a fluoride particulate. Why? Because fluoride particulates are very, 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 very small. They go right through the filter. So. Everyone I always talk to, they're like, how do I get fluoride out of my water? Get your own water filtration system. Or where we do in Sedona, we have some pretty cool guys here in town. We actually go get our alkaline water that it has all the huge systems built in that we bring home um, every day to do that. I also recommend uh, getting a chlorine filter for your shower heads. Okay. Uh, I shower at the gym a lot, so I really don't get that option. Maybe I'll update their whole spa. And just like add fluoride, you know, chlorine filters to all the shower heads. But that's another way. There was a great little video I saw of a guy pouring a, two glasses of water from the tap. And he put his hand in one. And he took it out. Then he did the chlorine uh, test. The one that he didn't touch was super, uh, you know, full of chlorine. The other one uh, wasn't. And that was because it was absorbed into his skin. Chlorine. So not very good, though. Okay. Is there a way we can purify water with a shungite stone in our cup? Yes, but here's what I like to say about that. Um, there's actually shungite cups, which my brother Alexander has. You can contact him that on that. You guys filter the water before you try to do all the you know consciousness and all this jazz into it. Start with a good template and then kick up the template. Same with clearing your food. If you start with a good staple and then raise the frequency from there it's a much more higher average for you i'm not saying you can't do this with the power of intention yes you can what i'm trying to say is that it's always nice to have filtered water where you know the fluoride's not in there and then do the shungite cup and kick it up a notch i would recommend that okay oh recently i'm doing good bro you know i'm a pisces and those full moons suck for me uh, especially here in sedona if you don't know i'm inside of a huge vortex amplifier uh, in Sedona and you know Sedona's a mile up so when the Sun gets really cooking with those solar flares or even the moon you know for you guys living at sea level imagine being a mile up it's a little different I know uh, <laughs> a little more extreme a lot of the things that we've been processing and going through down here is uh, a lot of simulations in dream time the main function with that is the 4d walls are breaking and my 3d consciousness is actually uh, inserting itself into 4 and 5D. I'm actually hacking from the ba basement into the fifth floor, or I'm hacking vertically 
So um, that's what I'm doing. And then I'm taking control of the environment in a lucid dream. But imagine taking control of a dream with 500 people in it. And you're the controller. I'm not really into middle management on this planet. I told you guys this. There's many things going on here. And I'm not really into the copycats too that pretend that they're me or someone else. That is a reptilian control system function. It's a very uh, uh, baby basic thing where basically they copy you. They try to put your face on and walk around like they're you. Look, there's only one of me on this planet. If I don't talk like this, it ain't me. Okay, just being real with you guys. Um, I'm very, very tired every night and every single night. I've been dreaming for the past you know, years at this point. My work ethic is so much, I really don't have time to individually, individually be used as the boogeyman. So I'm just trying to put that out there in the consciousness. If you're seeing some dude pretending he's me, it's probably not me. I'll probably be upstairs working on ship or helping out my brothers and sisters that need me. Okay. Hence breaking out these guys over here in Los Angeles in those control zones. And obviously around the planet that really need it. I've been spending some time in Puerto Rico in Dreamtime helping them out. And I've been, um, I was in the hospitals in Vegas um, when that tragedy happened. Or whatever, you know, and I'm, you know. The vocabulary down here, horrible thing that took place that we're still trying to figure out why and who's behind the wheel with that. Um, I was going through the hospitals and actually giving energy to all the doctors that had been working a 48 hour shift trying to keep these people alive. I was then sending balls of energy from my higher selves through and swallowing the whole hospital and actually going into each of the people that were on the in the ER and giving them extra chi and energy to hang in there and anything I could do in my meditations to help them. That's what I was doing with my energy that night. So I want you to understand that's the power of your consciousness. Where do you think that second wind comes from? When that brain surgeon, you know, the surgeons had five surgeries in a row and he's in one shift and they're not ready to help this many people and he's tired, but there's no one else to replace him. Where do you think that second wind comes from? It comes from the power and love of us sending that energy from upstairs into those people doing the best they can to help out their brothers and sisters. So again, I sent my love and compassion to all of those people that suffered in Vegas in this thing. But I want you to know I took an active part in helping them. So I want you just to understand what you guys can do. And there's a great tragedy. Astral jump to the hospital. Astral jump to the people around you. Send energy, golden light to all of those helpers that are on the ground helping the people. That's how you pass on the love. It's not, you know, prayers and wishes. It's sit there, lock onto a target and go, send them 20% of your chi in that moment. Here's an extra second win for you, brother and sister. Do the best job you've ever done. I was telling doctors and surgeons, you know, in my energy way, I'm like, the best surgery you've ever done. Save this man's life. Save this lady's life. The best surgery, the best, I mean, I was just, I was really locking into almost the, the hand position of the scalpel as they were working. When you get that focused on what you're doing, you guys, that's the power of consciousness. That's the power of manifestation. That's the power of being of service. Just want you to know, it's not talk. It's jump there pull up Google Maps, jump to the hospital, which is right from there, hit the roof, close your eyes, lock in, and go into your most awesome angelic form and help out. Hey, I'm here, what do you guys need? This guy needs some energy, this guy needs some energy, this guy needs some healing. I was imagining their uh, wounds closing from the inside out. Close the wounds, remove the bullet, close the wound. So, doing that from a distance, obviously, takes some training and some practice, but I want you guys to understand when you guys are definitely in a situation like that, okay, that your intent is very important to restabilize the field. I just want you to know that each of you have that potential inside of you, and I was super blessed to be, have the opportunity to do that and to help out my brothers and sisters over there. Again, my love, wishes, and um, compassion goes to each of them, okay. That being said, what up? Yeah, that's how you do it. Sacred geometry, baby. That's how we do it. Hey. You know, that's kind of like in my backyard. Like, Vegas is only like two and a half, three hours, like right there. So, it's, it was very close to home for me, too. So, I always like to feel that many of us like workers who work together. I like to feel that, um, you know, those are the most important things to come together in times like that. So, 
Uh, fire crystals for he oh crystals for healing. Okay. Well, I'll talk about some crystals for you guys here. Uh, rose quartz for that love. Sodalite for the third eye. Amethyst for the throat chakra. Right or communication. Uh, chrysophase for your heart. Adventuring for your heart. Adventuring also on your left hand side when you sleep. It prevents energy vampires from uh, pulling energy off of you. Okay. That's another one. I think that's why a lot of people wear jade over there. But adventuring has very similar proper properties to jade. Um, I like lapis. I like lapis a lot. Hmm? Bronzite is the number one that we use all the time is the bronzite. The bronzite is um, amazing because it's a white wizard stone. White wizard stone or white goddess stone. What it does is I wear it 24 hours a day, if you guys don't know. Uh, on my wrist and usually on my ankle on my left hand side. Here's why. Bronzite's an amazing stone because anything negative sent to you is repelled and sent back threefold to whoever sent it. So I apologize out there if you guys shot a rubber band, those negative people out there, and you got a hurricane came through your window. Just trying to say, uh, uh, that's bronzite. So I use that because I try to carry out very positive intentions all the time. And I think many light workers and grid workers and energy healers, they need bronzite to help them out with that because we shouldn't have to work so hard moving through the field with people's insecurities, lower vibrational things, and the fact that they're unconscious and their night self is using, utilizing them like a puppet. Look, we were all unconscious at one point in our life. The function is that once you wake up to make the same decision to stay awake, you know, that's the function that you choose. You're no longer seen as someone who is unconscious. Understand that. Step into you, who you are. And remember how your age. Do not pretend that you're only this age down here. It gets kind of, woo. He's sexy. He's like, I want to get some of that energy. Now, that's kind of the things I wanted to express with you about that. Now, um, what's another, what's, what's some more good ones that we have? Selenite. Oh, the selenite. I always use the selenite um, as a function of... Um, I always put it here. I love white light. White light is awesome. Selenite to me is, I have a 200 pound piece of selenite underneath my little bee loves me. Little 200 pound, <laughs> little selenite under my bed um, because um, it really helps me sleep and it really helps me um, just stay at a higher frequency. So selenite underneath your bed is amazing. I want to also say something else to people that have a bunch of amazing crystals in their home. Um, I like to put the most amazing crystals I have under my bed so I can actually use them for eight hours a night when I'm sleeping. Okay, let me show you guys how to make the chamber. Okay, so you want to get at least eight inch lift on your bed so you have some space to move stuff under your bed. I went to Home Depot and I got uh, plywood that basically has the heat shielding on one side and the and the regular you know wood on the other i put the heat shield facing down okay then what i did i'm sorry facing up and then i got the aluminum i got aluminum shielding that's like the stuff you roll out that's like bubble wrap and i attach that to the bottom of the wood the wood side underneath the bed heat shield facing up then i put a bunch of mirrors on top of that Okay, mirrors on top of that. Here's why Bruce Lee used to put mirrors underneath his bed because he would like to, to uh, reflect his own energy back upon him. So what he would do was put mirrors underneath his bed to reflect his energy back up. That's why you cut off the ground underneath you so nothing underneath you can attach to you. Okay, then on top of the mirrors, I would put a bunch of crystals, selenite, organite, and I amplify the field so I could actually create a bed of light. So one more time, get it real simple for you. You get a bed, raise it eight inches, go to Home Depot. You get, uh, say you have a, a king, like I have a king. I get two, eight, you know, two um, pieces of uh, plywood with the metal sh uh, shielding on one side. Take them home, put them under your bed, okay? Put the wood side, okay, 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 pause. Get that metal, the uh, bubble wrap shielding that you put around water heaters and water coolers. Lay that down. Then put the pieces of wood, wood side facing down on the bubble wrap, uh, the, the heat shield side facing up. Then put your mirrors. Then put your organite and your crystals and amplify that field underneath you when you're sleeping. That's how you should do it. That's creating a bed of light. So all you guys that have these amazing recorders and this and that that are in the living room far away from you or you don't know why you have it, just beautiful. Hello, baby. <laughs> the main thing is that that's what you want to do. 
Okay, so uh, that I found is very productive and it really helps you guys really uh, dial in your energy. You will feel an immediate difference. That night you'll be like, whoa, what is this? You guys, that's how you're supposed to operate with the crystal family. You know, crystals are alive. We do work with them. They are conscious and they are great recorders. So I just want you to understand that that's kind of the function of it, um, you know, to do that. So uh, any other questions before I wrap here? Anything else you guys got? Mm. I make I made some amazing new things to hang on the wall. I got lion faces that have eyes that are aqua aura and they glow. Big lion faces. Uh, I'll take some high res pics and uh, put it post it to this for you guys to actually put above your bed so you're sleeping. I put this big lion face or Lyran plate over my head that's face like this, projecting energy out in front of me. It protects uh, my horizontal of anything coming in. So I have the vertical energy, I have the verti energy coming vertical from underneath my bed, right? Now I have a horizontal shooting across. The main function is this, simply defend your airspace. And since this will help too for you guys who are uh, maybe moving into a new apartment, a new house and want to clear the area. I'm a huge fan of the hose. I, have a, I like the hose, high pressure hose. I always wash off my property. What I do is I use the blower first, the, the leaf blower. I blow all of the debris off my deck, off the property, out of the garage, I clear the space. Then I wash everything down. But here's the secret that I do. Since I have the leaf blower or the hose in my right hand, that's my sending hand, I'm going the whole time clear, 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 clear. I'm literally clearing everything with my mantra as I'm putting my energy through the leaf blower, as I'm putting my energy through the water hose, everything's conscious. I'm saying clear my space. You can also do very cool sigils, right? For peace, abundance, call it Archangel Michael. I put sigils on my house with a water hose. I'm like, Big J, you know, Big J back in the day would make the sigils, you know, with with the with the stick in the when he walked into people's houses with a dirt floor, he instantly walk in and draw a sigil of protection around the house. I do that um, with water with the water hose. It's kind of cool. So you do it out in the dirt too. You know, medicine wheels help. Any of that stuff really helps. Um, so with that, ladies and gents, it's been an absolute pleasure being with you guys here today. I hope that helps with some of the different insights and what we're really working on and how to help out other people that, you know, um, you know, and really, you know, take it to the next level. When there's a tragedy or something happens on earth or a natural disaster or whatever it may be, Google Maps, lock into the location, go within a hundred feet of where it's going down. Lock into with your eyes, go into meditation, and boom, jump there, help out, do the best you can. So I, that's what I feel for our Dharma for today and to share that with you guys. Uh, a lot of new stuff I'm going to be showing you. Not a lot of new prototypes just got done, and I'm super excited to get uh, these two more pyramids that uh, were ordered that are done now. Two more bed pyramids. I'm super excited to uh, show you guys. And um, we have a new Heart on Radio episode coming up this week on Wednesday. Don't miss that on heartonradio.com with Miss Shauna Ava. Um, we have, obviously, sessions. You guys need me. I'm at ascensionleague.com. I can kick that up a notch. And uh, Conscious Life Expo. Uh, we're sending all of our information in there. That's going to be in February. And we're main stage, and it's going to be a lot of fun to see all my friends and family from L.A. Or maybe you guys coming to L.A. We'll be there over the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And obviously, Sedona Cosmic Awakening is happening this year. We already have the place locked in, and we will be sharing more information with that as it comes. So with everything, you guys stay happy. You guys stay abundant out there. You know, when we're riding through this storm, just understand that, you know, the light is on the other side and the light's coming in daily and just feel it, feel that love in your hearts and always know that we support one another. Blessings from Sedona. See you soon. Peace.